Hey guys, what's going on? So today I'm going to show you how to make this cat face kind of thing right here. See? So this is what it looks like right here on the front, and this is what it looks like on the back. And yeah, it's pretty simple to fold, but there is one tricky step to it, but yeah. So I'm going to go in depth to try to teach it to you now, okay? So, um, yeah, so this model I folded from a 4 inch or 5 inch square to 8 and a half by 11. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I am going to use a sheet of printer paper cut square so that way I'll end up with a bigger one that's like this. Okay? So, uh, let's start out, um, first let me put these to the side first. Okay. So let's start out by making this into a square. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this edge and fold it onto this edge. Just like this. Make sure, make sure it's precise. Very precise. Okay. And now let's turn over so that this so it looks like this. And now what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna fold this excess paper up so that the fold we're making aligns with the raw edge below. Okay, see this raw edge below right here? See this edge? Okay, we wanna make the fold align with that. Okay, a raw edge, in case you don't know, is um, it's an edge that you can get a paper cut on, okay? See, it's, 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 see, it's an edge right here, see? Like, look, see? Like, this is a raw edge right here. See, it's an edge that you can get a paper cut on, okay? So, yeah. Just in case you didn't know what a raw edge is, I just told you what it was, okay? So, like this, make sure the fold lines with your raw edge below, like I just said. Okay, now unfold that. And now let's just reverse this crease a few times. So let's just fold on it. Okay. Like this and now. Make it a mountain. We're making it generous. Okay. okay. Alright, now well, we can reverse it one more time. Okay. Now you could cut this off, but I'm gonna tear it off, okay? And if you are tearing it off, then what you what you do is um you first make a little tear. We're gonna be tearing it on the existing crease, so you make a little tear on the top of it right there, and then you just it, and it should go all the way down the crease, okay? And be careful when you're doing it though, okay? Okay, you gotta make sure it's it's a smooth it's a smooth edge, okay? Like it's it's a, it's a straight edge, okay? Okay, and now you can throw this away. Okay, so here we have our square, which is the dimension we need right now, okay? So, um, what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna start out by folding in half. Okay, and yes, I already made the crease. Okay, and fold in half the other way. So we're folding in half diagonally the other way, the other direction. Okay. Like this. This model starts out with the square base, by the way. Okay? And unfold and turn over so that the two creases are mountains. And it should look like an X right here. Okay? And now we're going to do is we're going to fold in half horizontally. Like this. Okay? And unfold and rotate 90 degrees and fold in half the other way horizontally okay and I'm yes I'm going nice and slow so you guys can follow it a lot easier okay okay just like this and now what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna take these two sides right here we're gonna take these two corners and we're gonna fold them down to this corner right here see just like this so you're just bringing the two sides down like that to this point, okay, and hold them down with, with these fingers, and just squash here, like this, squash here, okay, and kind of just smooth everything out, like this. Alright, so here we have the square base, or also known as the preliminary base, so it looks like a diamond, or a square, in your view, okay? Alright, now, now what we're going to do is, um, we're going to make a little crease mark somewhere right here, so what we're going to do is we're going to fold this point zoom in a little bit okay let me get 
my camera in place. Okay. So um, what we're gonna do now is um, zoom out just a little. Okay. So we're gonna fold this point up to this point right here, just like that, and just make a pinch mark just right here in the middle. See? Just pinch there like that. Okay. And unfold. Don't crease all the way across. Okay. And now let's rotate 180 degrees. And now let's fold this point to the crease mark. Okay? Just like this. Alright, now unfold. And now just to make this next step a little easier, let's turn over and just reverse that crease. Okay, because the next step is kind of tricky, so yeah. just reverse it a few times, kind of like we did at the beginning. All right, now co now comes the tricky step. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna zoom out on this now. Okay, and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open sync this point right here, so we're gonna sync it all the way inside the model. So uh, what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna we're gonna unfold it like this. See, and notice we have the square creases here. I'm gonna draw that in for you. So. I'm gonna draw this this square creases in for you so you can see it a bit better. So, like this. Okay. It's like this. So this is our square of creases right here that we're focusing on. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pinch this square of creases mountains. And yeah, notice we completely unfolded. Okay. But yeah, we're gonna re collapse everything back up. By, by seeking this point, okay? So let's pinch the square creases mountains, so get our pinchers out. And just pinch mountains. Alright, just like this. Now let's bring these points back to where they were. Okay? And again, here's our square creases right here. This is the the middle point, is the point we're seeking in, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're, we're just gonna turn we're gonna turn this into a water bomb base. So let's just bring these four edges in like this. Okay, on the existing creases, and then reclose everything up, recollapse everything, flatten everything down. Okay, just make sure everything's nice and sharp. Okay, I'm trying to crease everything sharper. All right, so this is what it looks like right here. Okay, all right. Now what we're gonna do is this step is not tricky, but you you, you just have to make sure I'm doing it correctly. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn to the side here. Turn to the side and open the side up. Okay? So this is more like an arbitrary fold. Okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this up. And when we we're gonna make two folds, one in this direction and one in this direction. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make those two folds originate at these two points. So this this one is gonna originate at this point, and this one is gonna originate at this point. So and so yeah, just start the fold there, and then you can kind of choose whatever direction you want it however like high up you want it to be so yeah um if you, if you want if you want like taller ears then you fold it up more like this okay but if you want lower ones then you just fold it up less like that but i'm gonna go in between okay so about like that okay and just reclose close everything up See how the cat is taking shape? So there's one of the ears right here. Okay, kind of reflatten everything. Okay, so here it is. All right, now we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So open the side up, lift up the flap. Okay, and you kind of you just try just try to match it with this with this side right here. Okay, like this. Okay, make sure the, the two folds originate at these two points right here. Like this one originates at this point, and this one originates at this point. Originate, in case you don't know, means like it's it starts at this point. It starts at the point right here. So yeah, you're starting it off right here. Okay. Okay, so there is the cat face, whatever it is. Okay, so yeah, if you like it like this, then you're, then you're all done, but... If you want to add a face, well, no, if you want to add a mouth to it, 
then this is where we're gonna yeah notice I drew I drew the eyes on here okay but yeah if you want to add a mouth to it then this is what we're gonna do so what we're gonna do is um this is an arbitrary fold so we're gonna fold this up how far let me zoom in a little bit on this all right so you're gonna fold this up how far and bring the light up a little bit more okay so we're gonna fold this up about if you want if you want a bigger mouth then you then you fold it up more so if you want a bigger one then you then you fold it up more like that but if you want a, a smaller one then you fold it up less like that but I'm gonna go in between so about like that okay kind of too much light okay just like that and now we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this flap up over the edge and increase sharply and now let's unfold just the top one and let's tuck it underneath like that and then reclose your close everything okay all right now we're gonna do is um we're gonna fold this point see we're gonna fold um we're gonna fold this raw point down to the edge right there okay just like that okay all right and there it is the cat face I zoomed out all the way okay so there it is the cat face okay and yeah and remember if you want you can draw eyes to it like I did with with this one okay so yeah you draw some eyes to it just to make it more realistic looking more like a cat face so yeah guys a little bit a little bit larger okay all right yep there it is and yeah, and if you, if you didn't want to fold a mouth, and if you if you wanted to draw a mouth, you can just you can just unfold this stuff, and then maybe you can like draw a happy face on it. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's cool. But it, it's it's we re fold the mouth. But yeah, it's cool. Like though, it has more like a beard on it now. Okay, yeah, enough with that. So, anyways, hope you enjoyed folding this. And if you if you weren't able to to do that where you sunk the point in, that's okay. That step is hard anyway. But yeah, all, I know all the rest of the steps are easier, okay? But yeah, hope you guys like that, and comment, rate, and subscribe to get notifications of my future videos, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.